Hello students, welcome back to my classroom. Today we start a new chapter, chapter 4, breathing for energy. First of all about energy, energy for doing work, that is formed in a cell. For energy what we need, first of all nutrients, we already know that. Then another one is oxygen, that we studied in this chapter. We already learn about how we get nutrients from food by the process of digestion process okay then how we get oxygen oxygen is get through respiratory system then this respiratory system helps the oxygen intake from atmospheric air into the body it consists of nostrils nasal cavity trachea bronchus then diaphragm Let's see their functions. The main part of the respiratory system is lungs. Then this lungs is protected by a double layered membrane called pleura. Then there is a pleural fluid seen between membranous layer that prevent the friction between lungs and wall of thoracic cavity. Nostril is an opening. That is the air. Portecum ulilecum pass in the e nostril neum pharynx in a connect in or cavity in the other than a nasal cavity. Next trachea, other than a wind pipe on the bar in a see the diagram other long tube on a strengthened by C shaped cartilages ring, isn't it? Then this ring help trachea to remain open always. Bronchus other than the parnanga trachea and a branch on a other length silk and chain. Then it is also supported by cartilaginous bronchial ring. Bronchial, that is the terminal branches of bronchi that open to alveoli. And there is no cartilaginous ring in the bronchioles. Then what is alveoli? See the diagram. It is a air sac, then elastic in nature. See where at the tip of bronchioles. And these air sacs are surrounded by large number of capillaries and the exchange of gas takes place here. Diaphragm. Diaphragm is a muscular wall that separates the thoracic and abdominal cavity. But you see shape muscle wall is diaphragm. Respiratory tract. That is the pathway of atmospheric air from nostril to alveoli. Any engine atmospheric air, nostril, alveoli, first of all, nostril that is opening, then to nasal cavity, then to trachea, then bronchus. Bronchus is the branches of trachea that enters to legs, then to bronchioles, that is the terminal branches of bronchus, then to alveoli, that is air sac. Seen tip of the bronchioles, then exchange of gas take place. Today we discuss about respiratory system. It consists of nostrils, that is opening. Air is passed in and out of the body through this. Then about nasal cavity, it is the cavity that connects the nostrils and the pharynx. And trachea, it is long tube covered by C cartilages ring. Bronchus is the branch of trachea that enters to Lengths. Then it also have cartilages ring. Then bronchioles is the branches of bronchus. Then alveoli, air sac seen in the tip of bronchioles. Then the exchange of gas take place. What is the function of respiratory system? It helps the take of oxygen from atmospheric air to the body. 